Liv Morgan fans, I have five absolutely fascinating things that you did not know about Liv Morgan. In this video, I'm going to tell you what it is because Liv Morgan is on a run of a lifetime right now, and she is on the hearts and minds of a lot of people right now. She is during a revenge tour that has taken WWE by storm because for the most of her career, she has been portrayed as a babyface, but now we're a heel. And now she's doing some of the best promo work of her career. And so when she is in the spotlight and she is feuding with the lights of Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch for the Women's World title, well, I think it's fascinating to see what you do and you don't know. In fact, I'll admittedly, as a Liv Morgan fan, as a Liv Morgan supporter, some of these facts, they even surprised me. And I think they're going to surprise you as well. And so that's why I wanted to share it here on the channel. So with that being said, sit back, relax, and let's go through five things you didn't know about Liv Morgan. So, at number five, she had to wait over a year for her first WWE win. Think about that. Now, Liv Morgan, she lost her first six WWE single matches on television. She signed with WWE in 2014. She did not win a single match on television until the summer of 2018. She scored her first win over Aaliyah. Think about that. Wow. So, it was a singles match over Aaliyah. And then a week later... She went over Rachel Fazi before losing to Asuka in a minute. Oh, how things have changed for Liv Morgan. Now, at number four, it was her upbringing, okay? A lot of people out there is going to be able to resonate with this. Because Liv Morgan, well, she had a rough upbringing. Liv Morgan and her family, they also didn't have a lot of money when she was growing up. She had five siblings causing money to be tight in her household to the point where Morgan's family couldn't even afford cable and they struggled to buy clothes think about that struggle to buy clothes that that would be heartbreaking for anyone including Liv Morgan and number three and I did a recent interview or a, excuse me a recent video about this so some of you may or may not know this, but did you know that Liv Morgan used to work at a Hooters? Yeah, she was a Hooters waitress before she even got into the pro wrestling business. She had always dreamed about um, getting into wrestling, but she didn't know how to. Right? She watched wrestling as a fan, as a kid, and so she worked at this Hooters. And uh, I'll give you the condensed version, but essentially she noticed that there was a wrestler and WWE that would go to her local Hooters a lot where she worked. And so one day she went up to this old boy or gal. Uh, she didn't specify who it was. And she's like, hey, I want to get into the wrestling business. How do I do this? And they're like, well, I'll give you this contact, Joe DeFranco. He's a strength and conditioning coach for Triple H. See what see what he can do for you. And she said, okay, great. And so she went and she trained with him. And she did no pro wrestling uh, training whatsoever. But... He got her to a WWE tryout, and so she ended up doing that, and that led her to being signed with WWE. Uh, number two, it's her past relationships. We're going to talk about two. First, Enzo Amore. Enzo Amore, excuse me. They started dating in 2017 during their NXT days, and unfortunately, though, Morgan has implied on her social media accounts that he was unfaithful to her. And Amore has since thrown shade at her in rap songs. So let's just say that relationship didn't work out. Here's a recent one that ended. Uh, her and Bo Dallas, they dated for several years. From February of 2021 through, it seems like, 2024. Because in the body cam footage released by the sheriff's office during Liv Morgan's December 2023 arrest, she actually called Bo Dallas. So they broke up sometime this year. But yeah, 
I and I get it. Like I understand why wrestlers they date within the wrestling business because you want to date someone that's relatable and can relate to you and your work schedule. Because like being a pro wrestler, that's really really rough on relationships. That's really really rough on families and everything like that. And so if you can have someone that not only knows the wrestling business, but also works in the same company and works the exact same schedule, that's a that's a huge, huge bonus for you. So I get the relationship just in general, like why wrestlers date other wrestlers. I, I totally get that. I also get the fact that you would want to date a fellow WWE star or a fellow AEW star. Like there are some wrestlers who you're in AEW and their spouse is in WWE. Well, that's two completely different schedules, right? At WWE, depending on which brand you're on, but you're going Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then if you're in AEW, you're going Wednesdays, Saturdays, and pay-per-views on Sunday. Like, that's a that's a big deal. Anyways, uh, at number one, do you know that her first ring name was not Liv Morgan? Yeah. It was Marley. Y'all ever see that movie? Great movie. Sad. Jesus, it's sad. Anyways, she briefly worked as Marley. You can get on uh, WWE's YouTube channel, and she worked a, a November 4th, 2015 match against Eva Marie. She was just listed as like a local competitor, but you can watch that on their YouTube channel. Um, But yeah, that was the only time. And so she just worked a few times as a jobber. So she made her in-ring debut in November 2015 as Marley, yet just a month later, she returned to WWE programming as Liv Morgan. And that name, well, it's it stuck ever since then. So those are five interesting facts about Liv Morgan that you may or may not have known about. I didn't know the Marley thing. I think that's actually very cool. I like the name Liv Morgan, but a Marley for like a baby face girl. That's that's not a bad idea. Like I can I can get behind that. Um, the upbringing, look, I was raised by a single mama, um, so look, I had a great childhood. I had a great upbringing. Um, everyone faces challenges, but I cannot complain. I had an absolute great childhood, and uh, and so I can't necessarily relate to Liv Morgan in the fact of those types of struggles. Some of y'all out there, I'm sure, can. But she is as as authentic as you will see in the wrestling business. And that is one of the reasons why she relates so much to fans and why they get behind her and they understand her and they support her. And I think as long as she keeps doing what she's doing, she's going to continue to have that support.